Time for a little reflection exercise where we're going to consider your first meeting. So you might have already been to a few meetings before, but we want to really think about what impression do you want to make at your first big meeting? So maybe your first SLT meeting or potentially even your first board meeting. I want you to first of all think about what's on the agenda. Now, this may be a really obvious thing to say in terms of, well, yeah, I would, I would look at the agenda before I go, but this is about you being able to contribute meaningfully. So if this is your first meeting or possibly your second meeting, we want to start to really think about what is it on that agenda that you can contribute to so that people will listen. So really taking some time to think about what that looks like, really, and um, how you can offer opinion, help, support, or maybe an idea that somebody hasn't thought of. So yeah, re really, really think about who's in the meeting and what the agenda is. Another one that seems quite obvious, but do you know who everybody is? Do you know the names of everyone so that you can confidently introduce yourself? If you have a company internet system or access to um, an online HR system where you can look at the senior people's names, I strongly suggest that you do. There's nothing better than someone confidently walking towards you and saying your name as they shake your hand and introducing themselves. It shows real great leadership skills and leadership strength. Second element of this exercise in terms of preparing is thinking about what potential questions you might be asked. Now, depending on whether you're in month one, month two, month three, this could feel very, very different. So in month one or earlier on when you're at the business, you could be asked for your opinion on or ideas on what do you think of this in terms of have you had this experience before? So think about the questions that you might be asked. Prepare concise and well-structured answers so that it's going to be able to show off your expertise and your leadership skills. I would also encourage you here to really think about the company culture. So I can give you an example of that. So if you, the, you know there's a project going on that's impacting on you and your department and it's not going great or it's um, you know that there's things that you could jump in and improve quite quickly. Really think about how it might come across in that first meeting if you are open and honest in your opinion. You might not have met many people in there and you're picking holes in a project that might be someone's accountability. So just really think about how you frame it. Um, it may have been in your um, old business that you were in that actually open and honest feedback was welcomed, but just check your culture, check that you're not overstepping the mark um, in the first meeting and being brutally honest about something that could um, potentially create some enemies rather than relationships. And then finally, think about how you're going to introduce yourself. So have you got an elevator pitch? It may be that at the beginning or to be expected that the CEO or the MD might say, OK, introduce yourself. By having a confident elevator pitch that really sells your leadership brand. So what you want to be known for, and what you want to be famous for is really going to help in that first impression. So really try and craft something that's less than a couple of minutes long, but really allows people to not just see your qualities and your experience, but also let your personality shine through as well. 